Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install Ubuntu. I mean, in my place, it's Kbuntu on a USB stick. So the installation part is going to be at the end of the video. So watch the end of the video, video to know how to install it. I'm just going to be go over what, what this is and how it performs. So I've installed it on this USB 3.0 USB stick that I have. But that USB stick is a very fast one. It's almost as good as an SSD. So you can think of it as a, as a SSD. And this is Kbuntu, so it's KDE Plasma, which is a really heavy desktop up look for the Pi. And so I'll just go over the stuff that we have. So we have this application launcher here. Console is the terminal. We have settings. Dolphin is the file manager. I mean, this desktop looks so pretty and nice. I can't say it runs the best. But we. this is our file manager. And applications. Development. We have these apps here. We have some games in there. Multimedia. We have some VLC and stuff. Internet, we have Firefox and some KD Connect. We have tons of settings. System, we have some system apps in there that we need. And we have some utility apps. So this is what basically Kbuntu looks like. So I can go configure desktop. And look at the different uh, background pictures that they have. So that's the one that's set now. So I made it look like that now. And it looks pretty cool. So we have icons, mouse actions, wallpapers, and filter. And so you can... You guys can look through those settings and see what you like or not. This is based off Ubuntu, so it does use apt and all of that stuff. So so I can install gparted just like I would on Ubuntu or Raspberry Pi OS with the same command. And I have tested this on SD card, and I can say it feels a lot snappier off a USB stick than it does from a SD card, which would make sense. And when you do this, I would re recommend putting your USB stick or SSD in one of the blue USB ports on the Pi, because the blue ones are USB 3.0, and you'll get better performance by putting it in one of those ports. Oops, why did I do that? I'll open up the terminal again. So Nailfetch is just going to show us some stuff about our system so you guys can see what it says. So this definitely looks like if you looking at looks this is one of the best looking operating systems for the Pi performance it's in the middle it's not the worst or it's not the best so now fetch we have the Ubuntu logo this is 20.04 this is a Raspberry Pi model 4 and how long we've been using it and it says plasma KDE and all of this stuff that we need to know so another thing that a lot of people want when they're running Ubuntu, they want to have Raspberry Pi Imager, but when they try to install it with the command that is given on the Raspberry Pi OS, which is sudo apt install RPI Imager, it doesn't work. But I'll show you a way how you can get it. If you go to Raspberry Pi Imager's GitHub, and you have to build it from the source, so you have to cop you have to get all these dependencies first. So it is a lot, but just copy this command. 
and open up console or terminal, whatever one you want to call it. You just paste that command and enter. And I already installed it just to be quicker, but you'll just have to hit Y and those all will install. Then you have to git clone the project, the Raspberry Pi Imager project. So this will just get all of the files that are needed for this process. And it gets them real fast. Then you can just copy these two commands right here. Copy. Open it up. Paste. And now it's starting to build all of the things that we need for Raspberry Pi Imager. It's going to make it into a .deb package. And then with that .deb package, it will be really easy to install it. Okay, so the building is done for me now. So now I can just copy these commands right here. And after this, we'll have Raspberry Pi Imager installed on Ubuntu 64-bit. And as you see, it's installing it for us right now. So it says it's done installing. Now let's search for it. Imager right here. It shows up and it opens it up. And it, it does work. See, all of the operating systems do show up, and you can flash your operating systems just like this. And another thing about KDE, when you move it around, you get that little glow thing in the back, and that's pretty cool. So that's how you can install Raspberry Pi Imager on Ubuntu. Any Ubuntu on any Ubuntu distro, it should work. So then we have this software store called Discover, and from here you can update your system, or you can go to Applications, and you can find different apps and stuff to install. Like there's Telegram, KD, um, Q Transmission, BitTorrent, like all of these useful apps. You can go to the software store and download it from there. And then, so if you right click on here, you can add widgets. And there's all of these awesome widgets that are special to KDE that you can add. So this application dashboard. I can pull it here or I mean I can put it anywhere I wanted to like I put it there for now but if you click on it it opens up all of your apps and you can go through them like this but you can see it full screen so it's really nice and big to get the whole picture and see all of the apps that you have or there's analog clocks like I could add the clock up here on my desktop and I can have a clock on the top or a calendar so there's tons of awesome widgets that you can get and use that are like that. And then this is Ethernet and time. Yeah, so this is K, I mean KDE Plasma Kubuntu running on the Pi 4 from the USB stick, and it's surprisingly fast. So if you want to see the installation tutorial, it's going to be right after this. So don't miss that. And I will be reviewing, um. KDE Plasma Manjaro from the same USB stick to see what one performs better. So now I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can set up the USB boot on your Pi 4. So this guy has made a post on the Raspberry Pi forums and it looks like he's done a lot of work on the USB boot. So he has a USB boot ready Ubuntu server image. So to, that's the one that I'm going to be using but if you want Ubuntu Mate just go ahead and download that and you'll already have a desktop. But if you want Ubuntu or Ubuntu Budgie, Lubuntu, all of those things, just go to download this one, click on the mega link, download it. I've already downloaded it. So once you've done downloading, the downloading it, open up Etcher, flash from file, and choose that zip. It's called RPI USB boot. And then choose your SSD or USB stick or whatever USB device you're going to install it on. This is the one I'm going to be using, so I click that, select, and then go flash. And it's only 3 gigabytes, and if you're doing it on an SSD, it should be really quick. So, yeah. Okay, so I flashed it on USB 3.0 device, and it took me only about 2 minutes to flash, so it's really fast. And you get the flash complete, that means you're good. So take out the USB stick, plug it into your Pi, and boot it up now.
Okay, so when you turn on your Pi, you should see this screen and it's going to say these words and then it's going to go to this colorful screen and it should boot from our USB stick now. So it's just going to the normal setup thing. Setup stuff. Okay, so you get to this screen and it says Ubuntu login. You're going to type Ubuntu and hit enter. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to say password and you're going to type Ubuntu again. And then you're going to hit enter. It says current password. You're going to type Ubuntu again. Enter. New password. Type a password that you want. And now it's changing the password, and you'll get to this place. And so now we need to install it with Desktopify so we can get great performance. So what we need to type is git clone HTTPS. Oops. So once you've typed that, you're going to hit enter, and it's going to get all the files that we need. And now that it's done, so if you guys couldn't catch this command, it will be in the description. You're going to type cd desktopify, and that's going to go into the desktopify folder. And what we need to type now is sudo desktopify. De and whatever Ubuntu distro you want. So you can go with Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Xubuntu, Ubuntu Kylan, or Kbuntu, Ubuntu Mate. So I'm going to go with the heaviest one to see how it performs from a USB. And that is Kbuntu because KD is really heavy and usually doesn't run that great on the Pi. But I want to see how it runs. So I'm going to type Kbuntu. And now it's going to start installing Kbuntu for us. Okay, so when it's done, all you have to do is do sudo reboot and you'll be in your desktop. So this is how to install Kbuntu on the USB stick. You can also install a different Linux Ubuntu distribution if you want to. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.